Hello guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 10 not assigning a drive letter to a connected USB drive. This is a common issue with USB drives in Windows 10. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few simple steps that you can do. And of course, after watching this video, I'm hoping that your problem will be fixed. First of all, what we can do is to start the service that will automatically assign a letter to our USB drive. So for that, we can press the Windows plus R keys at the same time on our keyboard and the run box will appear. Here in the run box, just type in services.msc, then press enter. In this new window that appears, search for virtual disk, press a V on your keyboard, and the first one that you'll get is the virtual disk. Double click on it. As you can see, the service status is stopped. Click on start, wait for it to be opened, and then click on OK. You can exit out from here, maybe do a system restart, and connect your USB drive again and see if the problem is fixed. Another method that we can try is to auto mount all the drives that we connected to our system. So just open up the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. In CMD, you're gonna have to enter in a few commands that will be in the description down below, get them from there. First command is disk part press enter. You're going to have to wait a bit depending on your system resources or on the drives that you have mounted on your system. And then as you can see now we have here disk part. What we have to do now just type in auto mount, press enter. And as you can see automatic mounting of new volumes enabled. As I've said the commands that I'm typing in here will be listed down below in this video's description. Now the next command auto mount enable and the next command auto mount scrub and then press enter. As you can see, disk part successfully scrubbed the mount point settings in the system, automatic mounting of new volumes enabled. Lastly, type in here exit, press enter. And as you can see, the system is leaving disk part and you can easily exit out from the CMD. What do you have to do next? Just restart your system and connect your USB drive again and see if the problem is fixed. It should hopefully be fixed. And if this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Until next time, have a nice day.